Hey everybody, welcome back. Monday morning briefing, episode number 77. It's August the 29th, it is Monday. We're gonna knock this one out um, and go ahead and get it done. We've gotta be real quick today because as we talked about in our last Monday video a couple of weeks ago when we got back from Waco, I've got a saddle that I'm trying to get done um, as quickly as possible. If you've been following us on Instagram, you can see that progression of this saddle being built. Um, I am filming all of the steps, so I'm doing a time lapse basically. So we will, when this saddle is done, I'll go ahead and post a video of just kind of a quick run through of a saddle being built from start to finish. It's not going to be instructional like we mentioned last time. It's just going to be kind of a fun little video to watch where it just kind of shows me building one from start to finish. So we'll be doing that. But here we've got our stirrups. They've already been tooled and covered. Um, we also have our skirts here and a bunch of little parts. I went ahead and did all the the little stuff and one of these days we'll get into kind of my build process and how I go about doing that. But um, I, I tried to try to do if I can I try to do all the little stuff um, at the beginning or at least like the third day um, of the build and that way you're, you're waiting on stuff to dry anyway like the skirts and things and I'll go ahead and build all my small stuff breast collar uh, stirrup leathers and fenders the stirrups um, all your little keepers and, and all that little bitty stuff try to get it knocked out so at the end it's all done is you can end up with a day or two worth of work at the end if you push it all to the end. But um, we got the skirts wooled this morning. They got plugged this weekend, and so we'll go ahead and get those sewn up this morning and uh, and get them trimmed up and all that stuff braided together. And I'll hopefully by this afternoon, I'll have those skirts on this saddle and um, have them sewn in. Everything will be ready to go. We go ahead and fit the housings, let those dry by tomorrow. We'll hopefully we'll be putting a seat in it tomorrow afternoon. So my goal is maybe Thursday done, but we'll just have to see how everything goes. Um, we're trying to hit a little bit of a, a timeline if we can, but I didn't make him any promises, but we're going to do our best to see if we can see if we can hit that. But real quick, a couple of things. Um, I had met a, a gentleman at the Waco show and said he had made a little care package of a couple things he thought may come in handy for the shop. Um, and so he ended up mailing that to me when we got here last week. And it's a uh, just a glue bottle, basically. And it's got a cap here to keep that glue nice and fresh in there. Um, you can squirt it out. If you're, this, I think this would be really uh, good. I'm gonna try it and I think this would work really well. Anytime you're putting together like some wallets or bags or something, you wanna be real careful where your glue goes. And then he sent me a couple of these little applicators. I've got another one in here too. Um, they've got Weaver stamped on them. I wasn't aware that Weaver was selling these, but I don't get a ton of stuff from Weaver, so I wouldn't, I guess I hadn't run across them, but just kind of a little Teflon or, or silicone, I guess, applicator. And I've seen people use these on Instagram, especially like bag makers and stuff. It, it seems like it works really well for getting a nice even coat of glue um, in certain areas without using a brush where you can chance kind of dripping it everywhere or making a mess. So I'm really excited about that. I want to thank him for sending that to me. He made a little leather deal here just to hold that applicator, and I think it's going to come in handy. I filled it up with glue this morning, and so I'm just going to let it sit over there, and I'm sure I'll have opportunities to try that. Also had a friend of mine that moved up north, and he was down south and moved up north and uh, with his family and stuff, so he's kind of out of Texas, and I'm sure missing it, but he had heard us talking about... Um, not being able to find a left-handed safety skyver. And we, if you haven't seen our video on the safety skyver and you've thrown yours away, go watch that video and then see if you can hunt it down again because these things are really handy. You just gotta make a few adjustments to them. But I had mentioned in there that they didn't, I wasn't aware of a left-handed one, Claudia being left-handed and somewhat ambidextrous, um, but she wants to skive or feels more comfortable skiving left-handed, which on, with a right-handed one of these, it makes it really difficult. But he actually sent me this one and it's it's brazed right here on the on the point here where this the blade area kind of attaches to the handle. And so at first I thought, well, they just spun the thing around and rebrazed it so that it's left-handed. But I'm not sure that's what happened because it, it kind of seems like it was made that way. Maybe it broke at some point and he fixed it. But um, it was really nice of him to send that. He said he, he can't use it at all because he's right-handed. So he sent it to uh, Claudia and we've got it here in the shop. And so I'm gonna get it all adjusted for and attempt to it. I can't do anything skywise with my left hand. So we'll, I'm gonna try to get it adjusted for and then we will have one. Somebody else also emailed me and said that I want to say that I lost the email, but I want to say they had found some that were left-handed maybe. Um, but anyway, if you're a lefty out there, there may be some hope. There might be some in the future, but we got one here in the shop. 
And uh, so we want to thank him for that because that was really cool. And I'm going to get that adjusted for her and get that on her bench. Um, other than the saddle, that's pretty much all I've been doing. I did, if you follow us on Instagram yesterday uh, or saw my stories maybe, but I did post a picture from the, the cut room back there. I bought some big industrial shelves, just some shelving. And I actually put some of that up, try to get some of our leather a little bit more organized. That way I can kind of keep track of it a little easier. Um, if you've come by the shop and I've shown you the cut room, I'm sure you saw it's kind of chaotic in there. We've got, you know, just leather kind of slung out all over the place and uh, always trying to stay ahead of the scraps. That's usually where the storage problem comes in is, is with your scrap leather because you hate to throw it away, but it takes up a lot of space. And so we got those shelves in there. We're still tweaking on it, playing with it. Hopefully we'll get that kind of lined out and I think it's going to help um, as, as the cutting side of this business grows and you guys are interested in material packs and things like that. I just want to ensure that I've got everything kind of organized so that we can keep things in stock on the website and and keep the proper amount of leather in this shop because um, with any business you can kind of get in, into trouble if you're if you're purchasing too much inventory or keeping too much inventory of things that aren't aren't doing well or, or maybe they get damaged there's a lot of things that can happen with just stored inventory so we're always working on that to make that better um, another thing that, that we did last week was uh, we our video for the spiral notebook cover came out so we've talked about this before um, you may have seen it at Waco. If you came to Waco, we had this this piece that we actually made in the video. We had it there on display. I think it's a really good video. It's doing well. I want to thank everybody that's watched it. It's gotten a lot of good feedback. And the pattern pack is on the website. Many of y'all have probably already found that uh, found that on the website and watched that video. But if you haven't, you might want to go check that out. Um, I think they're really fun. Like I said, you can adjust the sizes of these things. You can make them for a lot of different spirals and, and different things like that. Uh, the notebook closures are on the website as well well. I actually got a call this morning saying they were out of stock and they shouldn't ever be out of stock because I I always have leather to cut those little things out like that. Um, but I just kind of wasn't paying attention and they were selling and so it was out of stock. So we updated that. So they're back on there. Um, anytime we're out of stock on something, feel free to call the shop. And uh, especially if you're in a pinch, if you, uh, if you just got to get something out and we're not showing that we have, have it available on the website, um, just give us a call at the shop. Sometimes we might be in the process of cutting that stuff or we might have an extra or something like that. Um, certainly want to help you out if you're, if you're kind of getting down to the wire on a job or something like that. But like I said, this is going to be a short video. I've got to get back on this saddle, try to get it wrapped up. We've got another one over here that we're working on as well. Try to keep those going. I'm going to pretty much try to finish out the year and try to get some of those caught up and move in that direction. Be looking for that video. We'll probably let you know it probably be out this weekend uh, depending on when the saddle's done but we will be a complete build video um, not not a not a tutorial or full process just a quick run through of showing all the stuff and time lapse that way you can kind of see a, a whole saddle being made but i appreciate you guys watching be sure to go to dgsaddlery.com sign up for the leathercraft newsletter and be sure to check out our podcast uh, lost trade on uh, apple or spotify or just go to our website and click the podcast button and you can listen to all our episodes there we've got some more scheduled up. We've got some coming up and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have a new episode here pretty quick. Thank y'all and we'll see y'all next week in the Monday morning briefing.